In this Blender tutorial, I will show you how to create a roll-up animation in Blender. First, delete the default cube in the 3D viewport by selecting it with the right mouse button and then by pressing X on the keyboard and then delete. Now add a plane by pressing Shift A under Mesh, select plane. Now subdivide the plane by entering into edit mode by pressing tab on the keyboard and then by pressing W on the keyboard. Now under the specials menu select subdivide and increase the number of cuts to 10. Now under the properties window select the modifiers tab and then add a subdivision surface modifier and increase the number of view to 2 and then select symbol. Now press tab key on the keyboard to enter object mode. Now let's create a new layer by pressing on the layers in the header. Now we are in the new layer. Now add a plane by pressing shift A and then under meshes select the plane. Now enter uh, the perspective top view by pressing 7 on the keyboard. Now enter edit mode by pressing tab on the keyboard. Now under vertex select mode select the right top and bottom vertices at the same time by holding shift key. Now press X and then delete the vertices. Now we have only an edge. Now select the edge by clicking on the edge selection tool and then pressing right mouse button over this edge. Now move it towards here and scale it by pressing S and then moving the right mouse button towards the edge. Move it a little upward. Now under the tools menu press screw and under the tool properties increase the turn to 4 and then increase the number of steps to 18. And now under axis, select the x-axis to be z-axis to be 1 and then y-axis to be 0. Now you have a curve-like structure. Now under the edge select mode selector, select the inner edge loop by pressing right mouse button and at the same time holding the alt key over this edge. Now the inner loop is selected. Now reverse the selection by pressing ctrl and then i. Now all the edges other than the inner loop is selected. Now delete the these edges by pressing X and then edges. Now we have a curve like structure. Now enter object mode by pressing sorry first select under vertices selection mode select this vertice and press E to extrude and press X to extrude in the X axis direction. Now press left mouse button. Now enter object mode by pressing tab key. Now uh, in object mode press alt C and select convert to curve from mesh. Now enter the edit mode by pressing tab key. Now you can see that the uh, curve direction is from outside to the inside. If you have the curve direction to be inside to outside, press the W and see how to select switch, switch direction. Now let's move this curve to the previous layer. Uh, but make sure the curve is selected by pressing A, repeatedly, repeatedly pressing A and then press M. And select the previous layer so that this object is moved to the previous layer. Now let's enter the previous layer by pressing uh, layers in the 3D viewport header. Now we are in the first layer. We have to rotate the curve 90 degrees by pressing R in X and then 90 degrees. Then press enter. Now we got a scale by pressing S and then moving the rise right the mouse pointer towards the center. Now 
Now add a curve modifier to this plane. Under modifiers tab in the properties window add modifier and select curve and in the curve modifier select the object to be plane 001 that is the curve that we, we just created. Now you see that the plane just curves as per the direction of the curve. Now if you move the plane you can beautifully see the plane being curved. So let's add an animation. Now in the timeline with the frame on being selected press I I and then press lock out scale now move the frame to 75 and then move the plane so that it is fully curved and then again press I and then lock rod scale now if you move the time, time line you will see the beautifully animated plane